<laughs> and the wizard casts fireball. Wait, what? And like that, your character is dead. What's up guys, my name is Glassfoot. I have gone through a lot of characters playing D&D. The first group that I played with, uh, actually most of us managed to survive our characters for a really long time. And then some away from table stuff happened and we horrendously murdered two of the party members because we were mad at the players. Oops. But after that, the three remaining members of the party, myself, the half-orc ranger Risak, who was basically just a half-orc version of Aragon from the Lord of the Rings series, our human paladin Eric, and Audric, the dwarf storm cleric who somehow worshipped Bahamut. Explain how that works. The three of us were the only remaining members. That is, until Rissok tragically got left behind by the cleric! I am still a little irritated at my friend for leaving behind the ranger and uh, basically making me die. After Rissok's death, I went through seven more characters. As you can see here, Rissok, Brahm, Viron, Keth, Rogar, Hadari, and actually, Rogar and Hadari are the only two that technically survived that campaign. And that is because of some weirdness. Technically, Rissok also survived. I have a video explaining his whole story. It's not the best comparatively to other th videos I've done. Just warning you if you do want to go watch that. But yeah, Rissok actually kind of survived. In reality, he didn't die. He got brainwashed and fought for the enemy for a bit. And then after the final battle, he went, you know what? I'm just gonna go back to Ranger. See you, fuckers. But yes, <laughs> I went through six characters in the game. Six. That is a lot. And today, on Tabletop Tales Episode 4, I'm going to give you the story of how I managed to go through all of those characters. Rissok, I've already mentioned what happened to him. Rissok was one of the original party members, one of the Holy Trinidad that made it through a long and glorious portion of the game. And by the way, the whole reason we were uh, called the Holy Trinidad is because Cleric who worshipped Bahamut and Paladin who worshipped Bahamut and me who just didn't like Tiamat or dragons in general but Bahamut was okay because you know he didn't want me dead. Actually in our game we had a running joke that the Paladin and Cleric met at Bahamut University and I went to the technical aspect of that school the Rangering Academy of Bahamut University. That was just the running joke but that is why we were called the Holy Trinidad. Anyway I've already mentioned that the two other members of the Holy Trinidad pushed out in a fight and left me behind to die. Rissak was replaced with Bram, a tiefling wizard who I had a hell of a lot of fun playing. He was an evocation wizard, so I was able to like craft my spells around my party because they were all idiots and would just run into the middle of a battlefield first round. And so evocation felt like the smartest plan so I could still explode the enemies and not explode my party. Bram made it a good chunk. Uh, he had a number of fun adventures, including exploding an entire village because we wouldn't leave their land after we said we would. Not gonna say we weren't partially at fault there, but yeah, uh, Bram, <laughs> after using his magic and uh, exploding a good number of the townsfolk, we went into a lair to fight a dragon, found a couple of spell scrolls, which I took for myself because yeah, and then managed to have more than two party members when we actually fought the frickin' white dragon. And so when we fought the white dragon, Bram unfortunately got frozen and died in that sad, sad moment. So that is character two. Character number three, Viran, was a Githyanki conquest paladin. Story with him was after the fight with the dragon, I fell through a dimensional portal and uh, just cratered the ground right next to uh, one of the other party members. He was an idiot and thought I was a figment of his imagination, despite the fact that I interacted with almost every other character that could exist. Every single NPC I interacted with. To be fair, that was a trickster rogue who, like, he loved magic a lot and, like, he really didn't like characters that couldn't use magic. I'm also pretty sure that he thought he brought me to life when that occurred, which is actually rather funny, um, at least to me. Viron managed to make it through a 
decent enough chunk. I had a lot of fun with him, just I could wreck shit. Conquest was a lot of fun to play as a paladin. And then we got to the green dragon and his rider. And so we fought them, got our asses handed to us, but we weren't killed. We got captured and taken to their lair where we were hung upside down. I woke up, used healing hands on myself because I, you know, was at low health. The villain came up to me, told me not to do it again. I mocked him, saying, too late, I already did it, because I was banking on him being a James Bond villain. He was not. After I mocked him, he slit my throat. Viron died because the player decided to mock a villain. Yeah, character three kind of went out a little lamely, but yeah, no, throat slit and death that way. Character number four, Keth. Keth? was another half-orc, this time a uh, blood hunter. I wanted to play a blood hunter because I just learned about them and thought it sounded cool. And so my DM let me play them. Keth was the order of the blood hunters that was a lycanthrope. So he could change his shape. He was a werewolf when he needed to be. I personally had a lot of fun with that. Um, I actually worked into his backstory because I was intending him to survive long enough that he would make it to the final boss. I worked it in that him and Rissok as children had like some rivalry thing going where they didn't like each other. So I was working that in so I could have that whole character interaction and stabby stabby my old character. That would have been a lot of fun for me. That sadly didn't happen because I die a lot. I actually can't remember exactly how Keth died. Did Keth get crushed to death? No, that was the Spine Devils. Now I remember, the Spine Devils got him. One of our other players came back, and so we reintroduced his character. The way we reintroduced his character was he came from the Blood Wars, and so he was being chased by Spine Devils. And so we were running from them, and they got me, sadly. And that was how Keth died. <sighs> All my characters die really lamely. But yeah, Spine Devils got Keth, and... Then came Hadadi. Hadadi actually isn't from that campaign originally. He is a character that I was playing in another friend's campaign. He was a high elf wizard war mage. I had gotten the ability to fly like spectral wings basically in that campaign and Zach let me keep them when I was playing this one for Hadari. I personally found it to be a lot of fun. Uh, we had to fly and I would just be like, fuck you guys and boost off uh, myself and just be like, haha, I'm going away. But yeah, Hadari I played for a while. I think he actually lasted like two sessions of main game playing with him because the cleric Audric, uh, whose player had come back for a bit and we had to fight a rock, like the giant bird. So his opening move was to use his highest level channel divinity to give it 90 points of lightning damage, zapping it. And I think he doubled that shit. Either way, Hadari died round one because the rock had grabbed him mid air. And so literally round one of the fight, I got fucking fried and died instantly. I was not happy at fucking all about that fucking outcome. Yeah. I'm still pissed about it because I lost out on a fucking epic fight. Anyway, uh, next and final character I played was Rogar. Rogar actually is another case of a character I pulled from another campaign. Rogar is what I refer to as a pal Barry. He is a barbarian paladin uh, multi-class whose backstory basically involved, before he was really born, a bunch of slavers raided his dragonborn clan, captured, and split up a bunch of them. He got born into a relatively decent enough household, but he still was a fucking slave. When he was about 10, he got sold into military service. The military he was in, for whatever reason, had a barbarian group in there that he was thrust into. Basically, their barbarians were their infantrymen. I don't know, it was weird. I wanted to justify being a, pal a barbarian and a paladin, though that group I was in at the time would not have given a shit if I had or had not justified it. They were just like, cool, it's power build, let's do that. Anyway, so he was a barbarian for a time and then some of the higher rankings saw him whilst in the middle of a rage save one of his companions. And so they recruited him to be a, a paladin as well. So he multiclassed into that. I think it was, I was a bear totem, Oath of the Ancients, 
that that was the combination. Rogar was my bronze dragonborn that I used for that. And so he actually managed to make it all the way through to the final fight, to the final boss fight. We killed Tiamat. Yay! The death. It took us like three sessions to actually finish that fight because we were like, a number of us were in high school, so we couldn't like play super late. We'd play like five or six to like nine to ten ish. So we'd only play for about three ish hours at a time because we had high schoolers that had to go home and all that kind of stuff. So we couldn't play super long, but yeah. Rogar was the final character I had, and he actually managed to make it all the way through to the end of the fight. You know, we killed Tiamat. That was... Yay! But, yeah, this is a bit more of a rambly video than I initially intended it to be. But, oh well, I wanted to make something and get a video out this week. That was character number six or seven. I think I actually only went through six characters. Uh, I say seven because Zach put seven, but he put Rogar twice, so... But, yeah. That is the story of how in one campaign, I went through six separate characters in one campaign. I do not recommend doing that. Seriously, if you have a, if you are playing with like two people where it is two people and your DM, you either need to build your character so that they will not die, AKA power play, or your DM not, needs to not send you against enemies set for parties of four or more people. I hope that you guys enjoyed this kind of rambly story time video from me. If you enjoyed that and would like to follow and watch more videos from me in the future, you know what to do. I'm not going to say it because pff, every YouTuber does and I'm lazy. But if you do enjoy this content and would like to follow me on social media, links to both my Twitter and Instagram are going to be in the description down below as always. But I hope that you all enjoyed that video from me, guys. I hope that y'all have a fantastic day, and as always, peace out, guys.